everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a used 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a traveling uh, open cup pour. And I just made this little cup by just cutting uh, a regular little um, paper cup off. And let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be, be Blick Relic Blackout White. I really like this paint. The rest of my colors are, I am going to use a white in the pour, and it's the Lucas Krill Studio Titanium White. My next color is the Amsterdam Gold Yellow. Very pretty color. I'm going for fall theme here today. My next paint is a Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. My next paint is the Arteza Carmine Red. My next paint is the Amsterdam Yellowish Green. My next paint, and I am trying to use up a couple of my paints. Uh, this is called Chromacryl, and this is the Green Light. And I actually did have to cut that bottle to get some paint out. And my next one is the Chroma Krill Green Deep. And my last paint is Rustoleum Metallic Accents, and this is their Rich Brown. All my paints today are mixed seven parts mix to one part paint, and I did thin a little bit with water. Let me show you consistency. They are on the thin side because I do want them traveling around on this canvas for the open um, cut pour, traveling open cut pour. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put my base coat down, bring you back, and then we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my base coat down. I am doing a voiceover for this section of the video. Uh, like I said, my base coat is down. I've got my little cup there, my little open traveling cup. And I am just adding the paints. And I am being mindful of uh, not putting the green right with the red. I try and put a layer of um, white in between there because I, I didn't want the green and the red right next to each other because that tends to make mud and as you can see sometimes I did have to help the cup uh, move on the canvas and I give it a little twirl um, I just like the effect that that gives when I twirl it like that I am kind of running out of the white at this point, but I am done now. Um, I'm giving it a quick torch. You can see the little cells coming up there all over the painting. And now I am adding more of the base coat to help the paint move when I go to tip. Just picking out a few little um, clumps in the paint. I added a little bit of red there, but unfortunately I think I did tip that off. Just doing the tipping now and tilting and being mindful of the composition of the painting. I had a lot of paint on this uh, canvas that I did need to tip off. And I did not like that rich brown. I thought it was too dark for the uh, canvas. So I pulled that off, added more base coat. And just with my leftover paint there, I am going to uh, do another little bit of um, traveling pour. Do a little more tilting. And I do end up being very happy with that corner. I just think it, lo it looks a lot better than that brown did. Just giving it another torch.
And I like the green, but I just felt there was a little bit too much of it on the canvas. So I did work with it a little bit, tilting some of it off. Here I'm just adding some red lines to the composition and tilting a little bit to incorporate those. Taking a little bit of the green paint off here. Just stretching everything out until I'm happy with the composition. Okay, everybody, let's get you down for a close up. And here I'm trying to show you the whole painting. At first, I didn't know if I really liked this painting or not. There are some areas that I don't care for that much, but then there are areas that I think really did save the painting. So again, this is a 16 by 20 inch painting and I am going down the left hand side and I think what saved it was these lighter colors, the oranges and that red. And I kind of wish I had a little more white in the painting, but that's the way it goes. And this is like an area that I really don't care for, but I couldn't, I didn't want to tip any more off because I knew I would lose a lot of what I had going on with the reds and the yellow. The light green I do like. So I'll take you over the whole painting here. And by stretching out the paint, when you use the mix, you can see the transparency of all the layers everything trying to come through. It's a nice area in here. And I did take my skewer and I just added a few little interesting uh, lines in here. And in here, like I said, some of the areas are really pretty. I do like this area here. And not so much right there with that green, but again, I overall, I really do like it. And this was, again, a traveling open cut pour. Here's where I added those red lines, and I did do some tilting. And this bottom corner, this is where I replaced that... Uh, that rich brown that I had, I just thought it was too dark for this painting. And I'm really glad I did because that is one of the saving graces of this painting is this corner down here. So vibrant. See all the different layers trying to come through there. I like the red with the white lacing around it. It's interesting in here. A lot going on. And here is the upper right hand corner here. So let me know what you think of this um, video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so to help my channel grow. And I am so glad to be back pouring and doing videos. I took a little time, little time off from doing videos, but I am back. So until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.